Hey there, Tori, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, I think the Tauruses are sunny and happy even though the Earth is kind of quaking under your hooves. That's because the Sun has now moved to zero degrees Aries. It is the Earth changing literally, and today is the day of kind of no man's land. I always say zero means zero at Soul Garden, and that's the way it kind of feels. The Earth feels like it's in a retrograde. But Earth signs tend to be more stable than others during these transitions, and aiding you is the Moon in Virgo for a second day in a row which puts emotional focus on Tauruses and their dreams, their soul contract, what they showed up on the planet to do in the first place. And I don't mean necessarily what the Earth sees. I mean what Taurus wants to do. Sometimes you are a brilliant artist and no one recognizes you. Those are two different parts of the consciousness. Don't get worried. I'm just saying that the real focus is the part of creation for you right now, and it will be for the next 18 months up and into January 2010. So sit back, put your hooves up, and get ready for the party. Now with the sun moving into Aries, it is a shift of focusness for the last 30 days. Focusness? <laughs> it's a shift of focus. That's ironic, I'm a Taurus. It's a shift of focus. In the last 30 days, it has been about really you shifting your perspective on how the world sees you. The players, the friends, the people you network with, your MySpace friends, if you will. That's probably the simplest way to look at this. In the most complex way, it is the network in which gets you work. It's your social networking. So in that process, Taurus, the universe has revealed to you what you will be heading toward, but I'll say only one-third of that pie has been baked or constructed. You've still got two-thirds of that puzzle. And in order to complete that puzzle, I think you'll be focusing on the Sun-Aries transit. Now, I have to say, as a Taurus, this is my least favorite transit of the year. It involves really facing all of your issues. It's now time to go into your subconscious, to go into your past lives, to go into your childhood, and decide which weeds need to be cut from your soul garden. For the next 30 days, I'll be coaching you and myself in this process of weeding your soul garden and getting rid of the things that hold you back and sabotage your success. You can see now why that might be necessary to finish the last two-thirds of your public reputation. All right, Taurus, that's all I have for Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Till then, live, love, be.